Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I have some incredible news on the Blender front, and I actually, I foreshadowed this news in some ways back when the last announcement came out, and that is that Blender has a new top-level sponsor. So this is going to be excellent. This is going to translate directly into being able to hire more developers to work on the Blender project, which I think is win-win all around. And back in uh, July, Microsoft joined the Blender Development Fund. Uh, they, they joined at the 30,000 euro uh, per year tier, not the highest level ever for sure, but uh, definitely a nice tier and in that video I said the following and you can still you can run it on Intel but you can also run it on AMD you can run it on Nvidia but you can also run it on AMD you can run it on Epic but you can also run it on again Unity and by the way uh, Unity you're, you're really looking kind of like you're you're the odd man out here. If it looks like there should be, you know, maybe one more sponsor on this list somewhere. Uh, we've got so anyways, I, I bet you can guess what today's news is. Yes, there is now one more sponsor on that list, and that sponsor is indeed Unity. This tweet came out today. Uh, Unity 3D joins the de uh, Blender Development Fund as a patron member. Well, we'll look up exactly what that means in just a second. They link off to the press release. Press release is pretty straightforward. Today, Unity Technologies has joined the Blender Development Fund as a patron member. By joining as a top-level contributor among AMD, NVIDIA, and Epic Games, Unity recognizes and supports Blender as an essential industry tool for creative and technical pipelines. Uh, Ten years ago, Unity already offered support for Blender files to Unity users, said Blender Foundation and Chairman, uh, Blender founder and Chairman Tom Rosendale. Uh, thanks to the great uh, the grant, we will continue investing in Blender core development with particular focus on high quality interop with free and open formats. The latest development fund memberships have pushed the monthly donations over 100,000 euros. So uh, they're getting like uh, 1.2 million euros funding per year, which is definitely nice. Uh, supports up to 20 people working on core Blender development. That is definitely a good move here. And then we got the, the wording from Unity. At Unity, we believe the world is a better place with more creators in it. Uh, this has always been at the core of our business. As such, our values align with those of the Blender Foundation, and it seems a natural fit to continue our support of an open ecosystem that enables millions of users to create 3D content with a free tool. Said Dave Rhodes, Senior Vice President and General Manager, Unity Create Solutions, Unity Technologies. And I have to say, <laughs> looking at this title, uh, Unity, your uh, your org chart's getting a little convoluted. And so anyways, uh, the, the rest goes on to basically describe what Unity is all all about if you're on this channel I'm going to make the assumption that you know what unity is and what the blender foundation is all about and I'm going to assume you know what blender is all about so now we're going to move over and find out what that patron level means specifically and the cool thing here it's ultimately all being supported by the blender development fund now you can contribute to blender development fund you know just as an average Joe or Jill uh, basically there's 4700 people that are currently doing that and on top of that we have 43 corporations that are contributing in some form. And at the corporate level, there are various different tiers with different, I wouldn't really say perks, but levels of exposure attached to them. So you can see here, they've got 121,000 euros or almost 122,000 euros a month right now being contributed to the fund, which definitely is a nice thing. These are the personal level tiers. So you can go anywhere from six bucks a month to $300 a month as you know just an average citizen, but we've got the corporate tiers. And it's corporate tiers that we were talking about today. And there there we've got NVIDIA, AMD, Unity, and Epic are all up there. Now, Epic is a little bit different because they did it as a mega grant. They straight out handed Blender $1.2 million and said, hey, good luck. Uh, whereas the rest of these guys are, are giving them... Uh, a certain amount of money. And that certain amount of money, if you are wondering, what does a patron tier mean? Uh, $120,000. So that's that's how much they're committing on a yearly basis. So these these three here are all giving at least $120,000 or more uh, to be uh, patron level. So that that is a huge ramification. I, I think they work out or they average out normally uh, 50 to 60,000 euros per person. Uh, so uh, there's definitely... Uh, so, some uh, ramifications here. This is basically two employees that uh, they're going to be sponsoring at this tier, which is definitely a nice thing to see. So uh, all told, I I'm impressed by it. If you're a corporation and you are looking to join the ranks, as you can see right here, corporate patron is 120K per year or more. Now, I finished off the last video, as you saw when we started this one, calling out a company that kind of seemed really lacking from this, this list. And now, to be honest, we've We've got uh, we've got Microsoft's in here. We got uh, Ubisoft. We got Intel, Ubuntu, Google, uh, Adidas, and so on. Um, the only company that I'm really seeing here that's missing, uh, again, 
Adidas is a little strange, so where's Nike? Uh, but the company that I, I don't see on this list that probably makes the most sense to be here, the number one company I'd be calling out, would be the company that I call out the most lately, and that would be Apple. But Apple is a terrible company lately, and I don't expect to see them do this. Even though the irony is Blender are going to have to support their move to uh, ARM processors and some funding to actually support that would be nice. And Intel is already is here, and AMD is already here, so... Yeah, Apple is definitely missing, but uh, you know what? Doing the right thing and being Apple these days, I don't expect anything. I don't think they will show up anywhere anytime soon, but I do leave the question on to you. From what you can see of the patrons here, but definitely got the big players in the mobile space. You know, I don't expect to see, um, let's see, possibly um, Autodesk on here anytime soon. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen, but most of what you would imagine are out here. It'd be nice, it'd be nice to see more and more um, game makers come on board, I, I especially it'd be just nicer to see more game makers using Blender in general, but for the most part, other than Apple being a glaring, um, lacking presence here. I don't really feel the need to call anyone out like I did last time. Unity missing from this list really did seem uh, glaring because Unity's ecosystem really, really benefits from the existence of Blender, especially going forward with Blender becoming more important. It makes the entry level more accessible. It grows the community. It makes it so that there are more uh, possible developers potentially using Unity's projects and so on. So they just make sense to be on here. Uh, but between the, the major engines are definitely here. Uh, so who do you think is missing from this list, if anybody other than Apple? And do you think there's a chance in hell that Apple are going to do the right thing? It just doesn't seem to be in their DNA anymore. So uh, yeah. And the funny thing is Apple heavily uses open source software in their kernel, in their development chain and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't expect anything personally. So nice announcement to definitely see here. What do you think of this? Blender just keeps picking up steam and uh, another major top level patron should just make the project work better. So congratulations uh, to the Blender Foundation and kudos to you, Unity. Uh, good job coming on board. And that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.